Panda Hall presents How to Make an Ivory Gray Double Strand Bracelet with Seed Beads and Pearl Beads. In today's jewelry video tutorial, I will show you how to make an ivory gray double strand bracelet with seed beads and pearl beads. If you love seed bead jewelry, I believe you will fall in love with a simple but exquisite do-it-yourself seed bead bracelet. So, let's get started. Today you will need 4mm ivory pearl beads, 2mm gray seed beads, 3mm clear seed beads, 0.3mm of silver copper wire, 17 by 8 millimeters platinum box clasp and silver jump rings, needle nose pliers, and finally silver scissors. Now, let's see how to make this double strand seed bead bracelet. Step 1. Cut about 80 centimeters of copper wire and remove the curved tips. Now let's start to make the basic pattern of the seed bead bracelet. So slide 9 2mm gray seed beads and then cross the other wire with the nine gray sea beads and tighten them. This will keep them firmly in place. Repeat this step to make the second seed bead row. Continue to make 11 more such seed bead rows. Once you have made the 11 rows, thread one 2mm gray seed bead, a 4mm ivory pearl bead in sequence and a 2mm gray seed bead in sequence to the left copper wire. Now 
Now, thread nine two millimeter gray seed beads to the right copper wire. Cross the left copper wire through those nine gray seed beads. This is the basic pattern for the seed bead bracelet. Now, step three is we're gonna go through this again. Thread nine grade seed beads to the right copper wire. And then cross the left wire through the nine seed beads and tighten. We're going to repeat this step to make 11 more seed bead rows exactly like you did the first time. Now thread a 2mm gray seed bead, a 4mm ivory pearl bead, and a 2mm gray seed bead to the right copper wire. Thread nine gray seed beads to the right copper wire. And then cross the left through those nine gray seed beads. You're going to repeat the above steps to make two more such patterns. For the last pattern, just make 13 seed bead rows. Now that you've finished, cut down the excess copper wire and we'll begin the next step. is to make a clear seed bead bracelet pattern. This will be exactly the same as the one above. 
Now put the bottom side of the gray bracelet onto the clear bead bracelet pattern. Cross the two bracelet patterns to keep the clear CB bracelet pattern above the gray CB pattern. Once you have crossed the bracelets all the way through, cut two pieces of copper wire and remove the curved tip. Use one copper wire to combine the bottom sides of the clear sea bead bracelet pattern and the gray sea bead bracelet pattern together, then cut the excess copper wire. and then cut the excess wire. Use the other piece of copper wire to the other end of the bracelet together and then cut the excess wire. Now for the last step, we're going to do the clasp. Take out the 17 by 8 platinum box clasp and the 6 silver jump rings. You're going to use the silver jump rings to combine the two parts of the platinum box with the two ends of the CB bracelet patterns.
Once you have used this, the lobster clasp, you're going to take the two parts of the box and put them together. This will securely fasten your CB bracelet. Congratulations! Ivory Gray Double Strand CB Bracelet is finished. This Ivory Gray CB Bracelet looks simple but elegant. Stringing the CBs takes a little practice. Once you complete the CB Bracelet, you'll feel very proud of yourself. After you complete this bracelet, you can adapt this personal technique to make other types of jewelry. So have a try. For more free panda haul tutorials, just stay tuned.